We recently received a question from Pete Waddell of Lompoc asking about the relationship between vehicle size, hitch type, and towing capacities. So today we'd like to address Pete's question and talk a little bit about the basics of towing. Now the first and most important thing to remember is there are so many variables in each towing situation, you really can't be sure of your situation unless you seek out someone who is knowledgeable, someone who can look at your vehicle, learn what your towing needs are, and advise you as to what kind of hitch or vehicle you should have. Have. For instance, at Sky River RV, we have a computer program that allows you to input your vehicle and it advises you as to what trailers you could tow. It even works in reverse in that you can put the type of trailer you want to tow in and it tells you what kind of vehicles are best qualified for that trailer. Now, what we're going to do today though is cover some of the basic information to give you a general idea of what some cars and trucks can do and what you need to be looking for when you're considering towing a trailer or fifth wheel. Now to keep things in perspective, it may help you to think of the automobile, the hitch, and trailer or fifth wheel as interdependent elements of a total trailering system. In fact, the driver, automobile, hitch, and trailer are interdependent elements of a total system. But first off, let's talk a little bit about the tow vehicle. Second in order of importance in the vehicle trailer combination is the tow vehicle and its condition. As an integral part of the system, the tow vehicle and its components have a significant influence on trailering safety. Trailers are designed to follow the tow vehicle. Trailers will follow the erratic path of a defective vehicle just as they will follow the straight path of a non-defective vehicle. Improper tire pressure, alignment, Steering adjustment or suspension will affect the drivability of the vehicle and will also affect the drivability of the car trailer combination. Before towing a trailer, it is important that the car or truck be in good operating condition. And on a side note, consider engine and transmission cooling. To alleviate any possible overheating to the tow vehicle, radiator cooling may be improved by flush cleaning and refilling the radiator with new coolant. Engine oil should be fresh and of the maximum viscosity recommended for the engine and climate. Engine and transmission heat increases, automobile speed increases. So slow down to prevent overheating. Now to make sure we're on the same page, let's break down the different parts of the trailer. The tongue is the extension of the trailer frame forward of the trailer box toward the car. Tongue weight is that portion of the trailer weight that is transmitted through the trailer tongue and carried by the car. The coupler is the connecting device mounted at the front of the trailer tongue that, together with the hitch ball on the car, connects the trailer to the car. Now let's talk about hitches. The point of contact between the tow vehicle and the trailer is the hitch, of which there are three basic types, a weight carrying hitch, weight distributing hitch, and a fifth wheel hitch. The weight carrying hitch is the most commonly used hitch, accounting for about 90% of the passenger vehicle hitches in use today. This hitch is distinguished by the fact that it carries the entire vertical load imposed by the trailer tongue. There are two main types of weight carrying hitches, the receiver and step bumper hitches. Both of these types carry the trailer tongue weight but are distinguished by the way they attach to the car or truck. Receiver hitch is attached to the car by permanent means, such as bolting. Their attachment points are to the automobile frame, subframe, unitized body, or a combination of these points. Although these hitches are often referred to as frame hitches, this is a misnomer since most automobiles produced today have no frames. Instead, they feature unitized body construction, and these hitches normally attached to the unitized body panels or a combination of these body panels and the bumper. Receiver hitches are the most common aftermarket hitches in use today. They require only one installation and are simple to use. As with all hitches mounted under the car and exposed to the elements, these hitches can develop rips, cracks, tears, and rust that may not be obvious to the car owner. So it's really important that this type of hitch and its attachment points be carefully inspected periodically. The second basic type of hitch is the weight distribution hitch, which is actually an accessory installed to a receiver hitch. Developed for and used primarily with passenger cars and large travel trailer combinations, this hitch does not bear all the vertical load imposed by the trailer tongue weight, but tends to distribute this force from the rear of the car to the front of the car and to the rear of the trailer. 
This force transferal is accomplished through various systems of springs, levers, bars, or chains attached to the hitch, trailer, and car. One of the effects of this weight transfer is the tendency to raise the rear of the car towards a level position. Thus, weight distribution hitches are also called load leveling. Fifth wheel hitches are usually mounted in a pickup bed and are similar in operation to those used by truckers or commercial vehicles. The fifth wheel portion of the hitch is attached to the frame of the tow vehicle through the truck bed. A gooseneck hitch is similar to a fifth wheel but uses a, a ball instead of a connection point. Now, not to get too confusing within the weight carrying and the weight distribution type receivers, there are five different classes to better qualify what a hitch should be used for. Within the weight carrying hitches, there are two classes. A class one regular duty hitch can tow a trailer up to 2,000 pounds in weight and with a tongue weight of 200 pounds. This hitch can be found on compact or mid-sized cars and is sometimes a fixed hitch attached to the bumper or receiver style sports frame with a removable drawbar and a bumper and vehicle frame attachment. Again, a class one hitch can tow up to 2,000 pounds, which might include something like a six foot trailer or maybe a 14 foot boat trailer. A weight carrying class two frame hitch is a little more heavy duty in that it can tow up to 3,500 pounds with a tongue weight of 350 pounds. A class two frame hitch is a receiver style hitch with a removable drawbar. It attaches to the vehicle frame and has a one and a quarter inch receiver. This type of hitch may be found on mid-size cars or minivans or mid-size SUVs. It would be capable of towing up to, let's say, a 12-foot trailer or a 20-foot boat trailer. A class three and four type of hitch is used for the heavier weight carrying systems and also for weight distributing systems. This is an undercar receiver that is attached to the frame and has a removable drawbar as well as a two inch receiver. A class three and four hitch can tow up to 7,500 pounds and has a tongue weight of 750 pounds and would be found on minivans, mid-size SUVs, full-size cars, pickups, vans, and full-size sport utility vehicles. With this hitch, you could tow maybe an auto transport or up to a 24-foot boat trailer. And the final class of receiver before we step up to the fifth wheel hitch is a class five hitch. A class five hitch is an extra heavy duty undercar receiver that can tow up to a 17,000 pound trailer and a tongue weight of 1,700 pounds. This, of course, is for heavier applications like travel trailers over 24 feet. The class five hitch will be found on full-size cars, pickups, vans, or SUVs. If you're towing anything larger, you'll probably have to step up to the fifth wheel or gooseneck hitch. This type of hitch is for trailers up to 30,000 pounds and is primarily used in the back of a pickup truck. Now all hitches are assigned ratings by their manufacturers based on the maximum weight of the trailer which can be towed. Users must be certain that the hitch to be used has a trailer weight rating sufficient to tow the intended trailer. Most weight distributing hitches are rated to tow heavier trailers, while most weight carrying hitches are rated to tow medium and smaller trailers. If a car is purchased with a hitch already attached, the rating stamped on the hitch and on the hitch ball should both be checked prior to attaching to a trailer.